the zebra into deep water, where it's well out of its depth. At which point, in comes the second crocodile. It's all over in seconds, with plenty of zebra dinner for both killers. So, reptiles, or uh, crocodiles at least, do sometimes go in for collaborative hunting. But how about those other dinosaur descendants, the birds? Well, there's a pretty extraordinary hawk that uh, the only time I've seen it in the wild was by a golf course on the edge of the Arizona desert. So that's why we've come to Scotland. You'll see. This is Steve Ford, one of Britain's most experienced falconers. Now, falconry usually means hunting with a solitary bird. That is, unless you're working with Harris hawks. Could they perhaps give us an insight into Velociraptor's methods? We shall see. Today, they're in pursuit of rabbits. One of the good things that we've got about Harris hawks is the fact that they're gregarious and they like to work as a family group. And so therefore, they're ideal in a hunting field because they'll actually work as a team. And so it's nice to have a variety